The nonprofit that I serve as treasurer is now fortunate enough to have a small amount of board discretionary funds that we have put into a brokerage account last month. And I need help with how to deal with it in QuickBooks for Mac 2016. I've categorized it as marketable securities, other assets. What I don't know is how to enter the monthly changes in value. I don't need to track individual mutual funds or prices or number of shares. Okay, so congratulations that your nonprofit has reached the level of having these, um, these board discretionary funds. Best of luck with your investments. And I also want to validate that you do want to categorize the, these funds as an asset. Whether you categorize them as an other current asset or an other asset, it should be contingent upon whether or not you're going to liquidate them within a year. So if you, the board plans on either leaving them or recommending that the staff leave them as non-liquid for more than a year, then you're correct to categorize them as other assets. If, however, you say, let's just leave this in here for six months and then put the proceeds back into our operating account, call it other current, not call it, but the account type that you create should be an other current asset. That being handled, for the rest of this issue, how do you uh, handle fluctuations in value? The answer is an equity account. You don't handle changes in value that aren't being cashed out on the profit and loss, also called income statement, also called statement of activity. You handle it with an equity account. So if these funds um, are deemed, if if they don't, I don't think they would have any restrictions because you're taking these funds that are in your operating account and board designating them, which means they wouldn't have a restriction for balance sheet purposes. So these are really unrestricted net assets and um, any changes in value are really unrealized gains and losses, which you would have as part of your unrestricted, um, unrestricted net assets. So if it increases in value, you would debit the asset and credit unrealized gains and losses as part of your unrestricted net assets. Opposite debits and credits if the fund loses value in the next month. Just keep in mind, you're going from month to month. You don't have to go from the initial value every time. Um, it's always adjust from your last adjustment. Um, and then, it, moving forward into a future in which this is being liquidated, you make an entry which removes the net accumulate, the accumulated net unrealized gains and losses over there in the equity account, and finally record the income um, as the change in value when you bought it versus the change in value when you sold it. So I hope that answer is useful to you. And um, if you end up with, or if the board is contemplating more than one of these, you might want to consider um, not using journal entries, but consider using items, using a $0 check. You know, check for $0 using the items tab in QuickBooks for Mac and having an item that's specific to this fund. One item um, and, and two, two sub items, one that's going to affect the asset balance and one that's going to affect the unrealized gains and losses as part of your unrestricted net assets. Because that way you can run a report. You say, hey, a lot of, lots of changes in unrestricted net assets and we have all these marketable securities. Which security is responsible for what net change? You can run an item-based report and get the answer to that question.